In this video, we will learn all about double box and whisker plots, or double box plots. These are great for comparing two sets of similar discrete quantitative data. For example, if you have data for two different subgroups about the same type of thing. For example, you have test scores from the same class for the 10th grade versus the 11th grade students. The double box and whiskers plots is especially nice if you want to be able to really see and compare the distributions and specific data like the minimums, the medians, and the maximums because it makes it very visual for you. So we're going to review how to make a box and whisker plot in the calculator and also see how to make two at the same time as a way to see what these double box and whisker plots look like. So to make a double box and whisker plot, you're going to go into stat edit and this time we'll be filling up two different lists. The first list we can make be 10th grade and the second list can be 11th grade. So in the 10th grade list, you just wanna enter in all the data starting with 94, then 93, then 97, 84, 88, 82, 99, 86, and 97. Remember that the numbers don't need to be in order the calculator can deal with that. So you can just plug it in as it's given to you. Then in list two, we'll put our data for 11th grade. So that's 84, 71, et cetera. Now, once you've entered in all your data, you need to do two things before you can see your graph. First, you need to tell the calculator that you want two stat plots and you want them both to be box and whisker plots. So to do that, go into second y equals so that you're in stat plot. We can see that we already have plot one turned on and it is a box and whiskers plot, so that's good. And it's for list one. So our first plot will be for the 10th grade. And so I can go back to this screen and now I need to turn on plot two because it's currently off. So select that and then I'll select on instead of off. And now for type, I need to scroll over to the box and whisker plot and select enter for that. And now it's important that I change where it says L1 for list one. For my second box and whisker plot, I actually want it to be list two. So I need to enter in list two by pushing second two. And now I'm good to go with that. Now the second thing I need to change is the window. And remember in the window, we're not worried about the Y, min, max, or scale. We only want to worry about the X, min, and max. So the range of our scores was between about 60 and 100. So that's what I should make my X, min is 60. And my Y, or sorry, my X, max is 100. So that I'll actually be able to see my box and whisker plots. Now we are done, we're set up. So we can push graph and there we have it, our two box and whisker plots on the same graph. The top one is for 10th grade and the bottom one is for 11th grade. Now you see when we have these back to back like this, it makes it really easy to compare things like the medians because remember that middle line is the median. We can see the median for 10th grade is much higher than the median down here for 11th grade. We can also see that 11th grade in general is just way more spread out compared to 10th grade. And that's all very visually evident from looking at the graph. Remember that if you want to pick out the specific points, you can push trace and then you can highlight and find out those numbers. So the median is 93 for 10th grade. The median of the first half, Q1 is 85. If you want to jump down to the second box plot, you can click the down arrow and you'll jump down there and you can see Q1, the minimum, and so on. So that's how you make a double box and whisker plot. And again, it's great for comparing two sets of discrete quantitative data, especially when you want to be able to see the medians, the mins, and the maxes really clearly.